All three remaining members of the blue team have to have a five to tie. Not even to win, to tie. OK, next. Russell, present your dishes, please. Gail, 87, still killing it. You know, uh, I'm sure she's confident. I'm not going to drop my head like I'm scared. I'm going up there, and I'm going to fucking sell my dish. I did a hamachi crudo with a little apple celery broth. First impressions? I say bravo. It looks great. Thank you. It's very sexy. I love the little drops of oil and the little radishes. All very precise. It's, go it's gorgeous. Judges, please, could you score? Wow. Boom. Wow, 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 wow. Good job, Russell. Wow. <laughs> I'm just like, damn, 50. Um, I look at Gail and I'm like, sorry, <laughs> I think you're in trouble. Russell, well done. Very impressive. Judges, would you like to taste, please? Wow, 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 wow. The judges give Russell a score of 50 total. That's crazy. It's a beautiful dish. I hope it tastes terrible. Impressions. It's, it's really well done. Thank you. The score to beat is 87. Um, he needs 37 out of a possible 50 to tie. Please, may we have your scores for the taste. Wow. Wow. And wow. wow. Excellent. Damn it! Russell, very, very impressive. Brilliant work. Pretty good. Russell has scored a perfect 100. 41 is the score to beat. And up first for the rookies is Mia with her. Brown butter and butternut squash soup with some crispy Brussels sprouts. Very, very nice. Yeah, the, you, the marriage, mm -hmm. you know, Brussels sprouts, green yep. winter, croutons, fried in brown butter. And it's amazing. I'm going to get to the end there, and I want more. Yes. Awesome. Thank you, chef. Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah. I just want to rub it in the blue team's face, like, you know, like, in your face, like, like, ah! <laughs> After Mia's perfect score, Motto is hoping to wow the judges with his southern spiced sweet potato soup. Not to only warm your bellies, but warm y'all souls. The flavors are fantastic. I'm just not getting any of that acid. The base is really complex, which is nice. You keep discovering things every bite that you take. Thank you. Yeah. Next. Delicious. Gizzy, is this pickled fennel? It's quick pickled fennel, yeah. yeah. It's amazing. Nice touch. Gizzy blows the judges away with her celery and fennel soup, earning another perfect score for the red team. Thank you, guys. Chris, let's go. Uh-oh. They're doing pretty darn good right now. Chef, what I have here is a spicy butternut squash soup with fried tomatoes and fried jalapeno, then toss in uh, brown sugar. Wow. Brian, how's that for you? When you first served it, I felt it looked like melted cheese. Can't imagine getting to the bottom of this, this bowl. Yes, Chef, thank you. Thank God somebody sucks on that team. Jose, let's go, please. Jose is up next with his soy miso soup and vegetables. I like the intensity. I like the funkiness of it. Easy to eat. Everything fits on your spoon. Yeah. Uh, got great textures in there. Really lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Up next, Scott Lee. We need the red team to stumble twice. We might have a chance if they stumble twice. They have to. I'll have a saffron potato leek with some crispy Brussels sprouts, a butter poach, lobster, knuckle, and tail. Love the texture, mm -hmm. a nice little uh, airiness to it. It's a beautiful marriage with the texture of the soup. Woo. Yes! Hell yeah. Booyah! Awesome. It's done. Like, we got this. It's over. Good job. Rookies, you have beaten the All-Stars, and you've still got one soup to taste. Big blow. That was a big body blow right there. Can I? The texture of the roasted mushrooms is fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. Kanae's dish receives the third perfect score for the rookies as they dominate the veterans. Yeah. If I put my scarf on backwards, like I was thinking the Tupac, like thug life. I'm about to kill this shit. Some great soups today. Our last two, Joy and Scott. Let's go, please. I'm always looking for a five out of five, but uh, anything positive out of Chef Ramsay's mouth, I'll take it. Uh, Scott, let's start off with yours. It's a potato souffle with a uh, bechamel with a little Jarlsberg and uh, fresh herbs. Mm -hmm. I have to commend you on having the balls to put a souffle out there. Um, the seasoning is delicious. Thanks, Chef. Really good job indeed. That dish. It's a four out of five. Good yes. job. Thanks, Chef. Really well done. Good job, Scott. Not over here. I'm really nervous. I just going last. You feel like all eyes are on you. And I'm hoping and I'm praying for Chef to be pleased with the dish. Joy. Chef, 
for you. I have a play on a um, pierogi. Mm -hmm. The filling is just a basic russet potato, seasoned with salt and pepper, and I finished it with a pinch of thyme. Um, seasoning, proper. The balance is nice because you can identify the hero being the potato. Yes, sir. OK, it's three to tie and four to win. Out of five, that dish is five out of five. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I feel so good now. After a rough start here, Chef finally got to see that I deserve to be here. I'm so happy. Right, uh, Lauren, let's go, please. Describe the filling. So the filling today is just lobster meat from the tail, ricotta cheese, a little Asiago, and I made a gorgonzola mushroom and sun-dried tomato cream sauce. So you use Asiago, gorgonzola, and ricotta? Yes. Wow. I love cheese. Usually it's a no-no to put seafood and cheese together but it worked. Really good. Telling you. It did work. Chance, are we ready? Yeah. Thank you. A honor. Thank you so much. Such a relief. I pulled it off, and I couldn't be more proud of myself. Lauren, great start. Next, Corey, please. Let's go. After a flawless score from the red team, Corey hopes to keep the momentum going with her artichoke and veal milanese. Interesting. Add some of the elements here that would have made this a great dish. I think you got lost in your flavors. It has good taste, but like I wish maybe she'd fried it to really kind of bring in that crunch that you get with the melonese. And ready? Yep. Yep. <sighs> Mark, let's go. Hoping to upstage Corey, Mark steps Just, into the limelight. What an honor. What an honor. With his macadamia nut crusted port wine marinated veal chop milanese. This is moist and beautifully cooked. Thank you, Chef. Yeah, pretty good. I really appreciate your feedback. Shall we, Chance? Yeah. Thank you. With a near perfect score, Mark puts the blue team back in the game. Next up, Tortellini, please. Let's go. Amber. So I've prepared for you today a asparagus and ricotta tortellini. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Looks inviting, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Very, yeah. Very Absolutely. Nice. Oh, wow. That is yeah. delicious. Yeah. yeah. Your tortellini were beautiful. Your broth is beautiful. Chef. I'd love to eat this in a restaurant again. Yeah, Chef. Yeah. Thank you very much. Shall we, Jens? Yeah. yeah. Next up, um, Janelle, please. Let's go. John has the lead with 10 stars, but the door clearly remains open for Janelle and her goat to grab the lead. Today, I had the goat ribs. I did a little crispy okra with a rustic smashed sweet potato. Great. Please Thanks. enjoy. Better than great. <laughs> That's great. No, better than great. Very well seasoned. It's really good. You know, goat's one of, actually one of my favorite proteins. Wow, uh, that for me is phenomenal. Ladies. <laughs> good job. Five, four, five. Uh, great job, Janelle. Thank you, Chef. Yes, 14 out of 15. Good luck, Mary. You're going to need it. Amazing. And you're in the lead. Uh, really good job. Um, thank you, Chef. Last but not least, our butcher, Mary. Ah. Let's go. With Janelle taking an impressive lead with a near-perfect score, the pressure now shifts to Mary and her beef bourguignon. So today I made for you beef bourguignon. So I seared off the meat. I left it on the bone while it was cooking. And I made fresh pasta um, to go with it as well. You made fresh pasta? Yeah, I did. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. That's ambitious. Thank you. <laughs> That's brave. Let me tell you. I have faith in my dish. I love it. But 14 out of 15 is going to be really hard to beat. Nancy, how was that? Everything complements the chunks of the meat, chunks of the carrot, even the noodle. Oh, good. Yeah, I'm loving the, I'm loving the meat. It's delicious. Really delicious. Very good. The question is, uh, ladies, does it beat Janelle? I'm getting a little worried, but I definitely think that my dish is better than Mary's. I mean, it's mine. Everything complements, mm -hmm. and the mushrooms are, are cooked perfectly. No, it's a great dish. This is torture. I just want to know. Man, I want to win so bad. Are you ready for these scores? I'm ready. Oh, oh my God. God. Thank you so wow. much. Thank you very much. Three fives. Wow. Mary, you produced a five-star dish uh, beyond belief. I'm so excited. I get to see my family today. Like, this is the best day ever. Good 
job, Mary. Good job, Mary. Good job, Mary. Chris, let's go, please. Uh, so we have is a lobster pie. Mm. So rich. Miss Plato is definitely the hero there. Uh, Chris, I was worried that you weren't going to have enough lobster flavor in here. It's just enough lobster. I think it's the best thing you've cooked so far in this competition. Wow. Man, I'm going to give you a five. I mean, it's a four plus one. Chris. Five. Thank you, Chef. That's what I'm talking about, youngin. Hopefully, you have confidence, please. Coming off of you and put it on the chopping block two times in a row, he needed that more than anybody else. Ariel. I have a Yukon and sweet potato palms Anna. Flavors on point, seasoning, incredible. Look, I have goosebumps. Yep. That's how good this dish is. I'm going to give it a four. I'm going to give it a five. Thank you very much, chefs. With Ariel unable to match Chris's perfect score, the men now hold a two-point lead. And Motto is looking to widen the gap. Take on a shepherd's pie, but this would be more like the private shepherd to the king. That's not a thing that exists, by the way. Uh, I mean, to me, it's, it's almost un inedible because it's so rare. It's tough for me to, to chew it. I'm going to give it a one. I'm giving it a one. Thank you. After Motto's royal fail, the blue team trails by only four points, giving the challenge queen, Mia, a chance to take the lead with her Peruvian potato dish. A cold potato dish tasting that good, uh, exceptional. Yeah, Mia, I mean, I hate to contradict Gordon. Um, and I can't. This is a delicious dish. It is worthy of being on a menu right now in a restaurant. I'm going to give you a five. Yes. Because it's just so delicious, it has Thank to be a five. Chef. It's outstanding. Five. Thank you, Congrats. Chef. Great job. I got a 10 on my dish. With only two rounds to go in the judging, Atlanta native Scott Lee. A four. Four. Thank you, Chef. Impresses his fellow Georgian chef, while another Atlanta native, Gizzy. I'm going to have to go with a one here can't seem to make a connection. What the fuck? It's just getting worse and worse. I'm going to give it a two. And worse. She gets a three out of 10. And she wanted to put my dish back. We're still in it. It's the final round. And with the blue team leading the red team by the narrowest of margins, it's anyone's game. So potato, immediately, I think gnocchi, Italian heritage, Italian cuisine. Um, I mean, I think texturally it, it's, it's a win. For me, it's hearty, delicious. Rustic gnocchi catapulted into the Premier League of uh, you, items sir. of the menu. Brett, I'm going to give this one a five. Thank you, Chef. Yes. Yeah, For me, it's a five. Thank you, Chef. Yeah, Brett. Amazing. Straight up, fucking gnocchi, 10 out of 10, you dig? Right. Next up, butter the chicken. Let's go. Next up, it's T and Randy. T has prepared kale stuffed chicken served on a sweet potato hash. Uh, it's stuffed nicely. This is really well executed. Score, Chef, how would you? I'm going to say this is a solid four. Nine, four. Okay. Uh, three. Three out of five. Good job. For his first ever Greek dish, Randy has made pan seared chicken with eggplant and new potatoes. I am a little nervous. Don't spit it out. Don't spit it out, please. Um. I don't think you can get any more Greek than this on yeah. a plate. I just keep tasting home. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's what I keep tasting. Yeah. Delicious. Yeah. Chef, let's go. That's a five. Thank you, Delicious. Chef. Five. Yes. Yeah, Randy. Yeah, Thank buddy. you, Chef. That means a lot. Woo! Nice job. Who buddy. is this guy? <laughs> Country bumpkin ass Randy killing it. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. It's now 26 to the men, 25 to the ladies. With the men back on top. Uh, let's go back to the pork. Christine offers up a pork kebab with grapes and fig sauce. It's almost like my mother made this. Delicious. Impressing both judges. Still I'm going to say four. Four as well. Great job. Good job, Christine. Adam's seared pork with basmati rice. I think that's one of the best dishes you've cooked so far in this competition. Thank you so much. Also impresses. I got to give you a five, man. Yes. Thank you, chef. Five. Cute. Yes. Great job. Thank it's you, really chef. It's really a great job. Uh, two very good dishes. Well Thank done. you, chefs. Good job, man. Nikki, describe the dish, please. Here we have a miso and monkfish stew and a crispy rice cracker. A little extra something. Love the rice cracker. Thank you. Huh? I was so scared about this damn rice cracker, and he likes the rice cracker. I did a good thing today. <laughs> it's delicious. And Nikki, it's the first five out of the gate. Good job. Thank wow. You, chef. Really good. Three fives to tie. All three remaining members of the blue team have to have a five to tie. Not even to win, to tie. Describe the dish, please. 
We have a pork schnitzel done with an herb salad. The hercover is pickled, and the celery root is uh, fried for texture. That's cooked beautifully. Thank you, chef. Have you pickled the carrots? Uh, no, I wanted to leave one component unadulterated. My god, I did not expect that. Thank you kindly. That is an easy five. Good job. Well done. Up next, Adam's five spice rubbed pork chop with celery root puree. Oh my god, that is extraordinary. Hits the jackpot with Chef Ramsay. That's a five. Amazing job. Well done. Thank you, Chef. Come on, man. Stop giving out fives like candy, Chef. It all comes down to Declan's Honey Mustard Glazed Pork Chop, who has to get a five to tie. Moment of truth. Oh my lord. This cooked beautifully. Thank you, Chef. Thank God. Bah! Knocked it out of the park. Without a shadow of doubt, five. Congratulations. Nice work, D. So we're tied, and so it's going to come down to the two best dishes, uh, one from the red and one from the blue. Um, Nikki, pass me your dish, please. Thank you. And the best dish on the blue, um, <sighs> Cody, please, pass me your dish. Fair play, Cody. We got this. Uh, delicious. This is so hard. Chef, remember that rice cracker? Remember how brilliant you said it was? Wasn't that delicious, Chef? This is so difficult. Two exceptional dishes. Congratulations. Cody on the blue team. Yeah! Yes! Cody. Wow.